Hello folks, it's Mark here from The Guitar Marketplace. Today we have a... I'm gonna go bold on this statement. The most versatile guitar in the world ever made. Most versatile guitar I've ever played, definitely. Um, this is a PRS Hollow Body 2. You can already see just how aesthetically gorgeous it is. But actually what we're working with here is a fully hollow body guitar. It has the center block here, but not going all the way through. Um, but it's also fitted with a LR bagged piezo pickup as well. So what does this mean? So we've got two inputs, this side of the guitar. So you could put one straight into a DI and send it out the front. And you could put the other one into your amp. And what it's gonna give you is in my head, what the Acoustasonic probably should have done. So for you, those of you who don't know, the Fender Acoustasonic is a guitar that Fender brought out probably about four years ago, no, maybe three years ago, um, preaching versatility, where it can sound like an acoustic, it's supposed to play like a Telecaster, and sound like a Telecaster as well, and do everything in between. But I don't feel like it ever could do everything quite as well as what it said it could do. So it kind of played like a Telecaster, but it had acoustic feeling strings on it. So it didn't play like a Telecaster, but it never really sounded like an acoustic anyway. And then when you did put gain through it, it didn't sound like a Telecaster. So I'm not the biggest fan of them. Um, I have played a couple that I have liked, but as a general concept, I never got on board with them. Then this has arrived, um, plugged it in, played it as an electric guitar first. Sounds great, sounds like a PRS. The piezo that's in it sounds really good. Um, obviously, feels like an electric guitar when you're playing it, but you, your ears can trick you. Um, I set it up in this situation, had the speaker behind me, had an acoustic setting on the Kemper, and realised at that point just how versatile it could be. I've never had much inkling to use a piezo pick up an electric guitar before, really. Um, I, I remember watching a video of Slash when he was in Velvet Revolver, used one, and it kind of blew my mind how much it sounded like an acoustic guitar. But it gave him the ability to solo on an acoustic guitar, if that makes sense as well. But it's a great concept. I've really enjoyed playing this guitar. Um, what we are going to do in a second is let the proof be in the pudding. So I will run it through an acoustic simulator so you can hear how much of an acoustic it does sound like. Um, and then we'll just show you how Great, this is a PRS as well. It's got that slight hollow body wooliness to it that you'd hope for. Um, but obviously because of body size, for me it's not a 335 sound alike. But the 339s, the smaller body Gibsons that you can get, definitely, definitely fills in that sort of like bracket when you play it. Obviously you've got a slightly wider, let's see if I can see that. It is slightly wider, does kick out at the back a little bit there. Nice light guitar, loads of air in the sound. Is a PRS by all stretch, it looks absolutely stunning, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, all the descriptive words you can use to think of. You put it on this guitar because it truly is remarkable. But for me, the proof's in the pudding in the sound, so let's get this set up so you can hear just how great this PRS hollow body in violet blue bursts does sound. See you in a second. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
say I know this video probably did lack a little bit of structure but the same as every great guitar that I kind of have here I do lose myself in playing it I am a fan I love playing guitars this guitar can do a lot more than probably what I did show um, it's incredibly versatile it really is the thing I got fixated on with this instrument is what the piezo can do and how the piezo can blend with the other pickups to give you something that other guitars don't normally give you you know, for me, you can go out and you can buy a lovely PRS private stock or a 10 top or, you know, they're going to give you the best electric guitar that money can buy. And they're a lot of money, but they can buy the best electric guitar that money can buy. Playability wise, aesthetically, it covers all them boxes. But this is a guitar that does a little extra. And I think it, it does the 335 thing and the 339 thing by Gibson. It does the PRS thing. It can't quite go as high gain as some of the others. Due to it being hollow, it is going to feed back. But obviously, the, the big thing for this guitar is what the piezo can do. And Again, it's not a comparison video between the Fender Acoustic Sonic and this, because the Fender is much more affordable. This is more expensive. And they are trying to do two separate things they're trying to do two, they're trying to do the same thing, but different ways. So an acoustic sonic is to play a little bit more like an acoustic guitar and venture into the world of Telecasters. This is a PRS electric guitar that can give you a very plausible acoustic guitar sound. Now, if I think if you're in the studio, you'd still want to use an acoustic guitar mic'd up. If you're to close your eyes and to hear that coming through a PA, I think you think that that PA is a, is a plugged in acoustic guitar, I really do. And then when we were blending and we were finding the combination between like a little bit of gain and then activating the pickup to blend between the two, then we, then we were getting sonic things that I don't think you get from any guitar. Like I, could, I was comparing it to Stratocasters a couple of times because it had that frequency that was just, 
it, I just knew the guitar was doing something different to what every guitar behind me does. I think the reason I kind of lost my train of thought when we was filming is because I was trying to think of the creative possibilities for it. Versatility is endless because of that as well. Whether you're just blending a little bit or whether you're using a clean setting and mix it. Th th there's loads of ways you could get different tones using this guitar. But the thing that stands out to me is the fact that it's not doing a little bit of everything and getting certain things wrong along the way, which I felt like the Acoustasonic did. This is doing everything very well, as simple as that. It's, um, it's been a really fun guitar to shoot. I'm still thinking about what I could do creatively with it. I think there is still more options and different ways you could go about utilising this instrument, different sounds you could get out of it. The world would really be your oyster with this guitar, as well as the fact it still looks absolutely incredible. It still plays incredibly. I really like the extra thickness here on the body. Like I showed you earlier, it does kick out. I really like that because I, th I do find PRS is a bit thin at times. But this just feels really well balanced, well weighted, it's comfortable, it's still light. And it's a very, very beautiful guitar. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, folks. Sorry if I have rambled. You're watching me kind of get to terms with the guitar on the spot because it's, I've done, I did a little video on this guitar but I didn't spend a lot of time with it. So when you see these videos, you are seeing me come to terms with it, kind of think out loud a little bit. I don't really get time to put an opinion together or to kind of get my bearings. I'm kind of seeing it as I play it at the time. So that's why they can be a little all over the place, but it gives you a really honest, genuine opinion on this guitar. Hopefully stick around for more. We've got more YouTube videos coming your way. So do subscribe, do stay up to date. My name has been Mark, we are the Guitar Marketplace. Take care and we'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.